Anyway, welcome to the State Department. I think we have some interns in the back. Welcome. Uh, good to see you in this uh, exercise and transparency and democracy. <laughs> Is that what it is? <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was. I didn't mean to break. I thought it was an exercise, of, an exercise in, in spin and obfuscation. <laughs> All right, can you tell us my last briefing before vacation? Mi kellene több felszerelés vagy mask? A mask puszta látványosság, hogy úgy tűnjön a kormány tesz valamit. A második adagot mindenki megkapja. Tehát szó sincsen arról, hogy elhagynánk a második adag vakcinát. Hiszen a teljes védelem kialakulásához, és reményeink szerint a hosszú távú védelemhez is két adagra van szükség. Az egész egy világméretű járványjal kezdődött. Kivéve az imént említett Janzen vakcinából, amely, amelyből csak egyet kell majd beadni, hogyha elérhetővé válik számunkra. Az első adag beoltását követően vakcinánként különböző a védettségi fok kialakulása. Egy bizonyos, többen beszélnek 50% feletti hatásosságról valamennyi vakcina esetében. Egy bizonyos, a súlyos, szövődményes, halálos megbetegedést már az első vakcina beadása is ö, okoz ö, elősegíti, okoz ö, elősegíti, okoz ö, elősegíti, és ebben áll ennek a stratégiának a módosítási elve is. Köszönöm, Káügynök! Hölgyeim és Uraim! We can create cybernetic individuals who, in just a few short years, will be completely indistinguishable from us. Which leads to an obvious conclusion. We are the gods now. I haven't been stopped down. I'll take that to mean I'm right. How is there a law that states if we build a man from wires and metal, a man who will never grow old, who will never feel the heat of a star, or the cold of the moon, or the cold of the moon, or the cold of the moon, how is the creation of such an incredible individual considered unnatural? The answer to all these questions is simple. These rules exist because the people who created them were afraid of what would happen if they didn't. Well, I am not afraid. My name is Peter Whalen. And if you'll indulge me, I'd like to change the world. Satan? Hi. Two zero, two zero. Please, call me 2020. So where are you from? Hell. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist.
Meet Oliver and Kathy. Aren't they cute? Kathy got a little overexcited making her lasagna surprise and forgot to turn off the oven. Surprise! You know how there's a limit for how long you can put off car maintenance? Well, Oliver didn't. Come on! Hear that? That's how this air conditioner with a failing capacitor cries for help. Of course, if no one listens... Have you seen this? And when the appliances revolt, guess who Kathy and Oliver are going to blame? This guy. Bless his heart, he's trying so hard. But there's only so much he can do with outdated technology. Well, plot twist, this whole nightmare never actually happened. It was all avoided by a team of connected devices and a fully automated service center. I'm Athena, their loyal virtual assistant. Rather than Kathy and Oliver not taking care of us, we're taking care of them. Remember my smoking oven friend? Well, he and others like him have been sending data back through the service organization. And product development found that ovens were left on by a lot of owners. So Mr. Oven got a genius upgrade that does this. So Kathy, Oliver, and the smoke alarm can sleep tight. As for the car... Hello, Oliver. Hey, Zena. I just wanted to inform you of a few maintenance items we need to take care of. Oh, yeah, good catch. Let's schedule a technician for maintenance. Great, consider it done. Oh, and my buddy the AC unit was able to notify the service center about its capacitor all by itself. They sent a field tech to fix it without Kathy and Oliver ever breaking a sweat. But we didn't stop there. We adjusted the security system, taught Kathy about conserving water with her washing machine, and took care of all kinds of other issues before they became, you know, issues. Athena, set temperature to 68 degrees and close all windows. Okay. So now that the Olivers and Kathy's of the world are all taken care of, the folks at the service organization can focus on making the customer experience even better. Athena, could you send me the results of the oven firmware updates on the TC-17s? Sure, Chase. You also have three minutes until your executive meeting to discuss new automation. All right, awesome. Tell me a joke, Athena. Okay. Why did the service manager cross the road? He had old technology and couldn't automate it. <laughs> Try harder, Athena. How about this? Two muffins are sitting in an oven.